From the moment the teasers from Kerry King began circulating online, rumors from frantic Slayer fans began to circulate that the band was actually reuniting. And if it were up to Kerry King, he would reunite Slayer. He has said repeatedly publicly that he feels the band retired too early. After all, many of his own musical heroes are still performing. But Kerry King has good news for Slayer fans because although he won't be returning with the Slayer bandmates, it seems as though there will be a formidable placeholder for those of us Slayer fans wishing to see the band perform once again. And oftentimes, when these groups come around, you even get the chance to hear those classic songs from that favorite band. Kerry King is obviously one of the most legendary figures in heavy metal, and he's going to be making his live debut, his first confirmed performance for his solo band. It will be taking place next year at Welcome to Rockville at Daytona International Speedway in May. They've announced their new lineup right now up on your screen. Now, Kerry King has said a lot about Slayer's decision to retire. We haven't heard any of the new music, but I anticipate there will probably be some similarities to this new music. We don't know yet who will be handling vocals. We have no idea. It's very exciting. Slayer fans are obviously very excited by this. This is some of what Kerry King has said about Slayer's decision to retire. In an interview earlier this year with Metal Hammer, Kerry King said he felt anger when Slayer announced their decision to retire. He told them, anger, what else? It was premature. The reason I say premature is because my heroes from my childhood are still playing. I can still play. I still want to play. But that livelihood got taken away from me. But anyways, on to the next chapter, I guess. We were on top of the world, and there's nothing wrong with going out on top of the world. It's a good way to go out. So bravo for that. But do I miss playing? Yeah, absolutely. Kerry went on to add that every show they played on their farewell tour was a bummer for him. He said, every one of those shows was a bummer. We were going to all these places and all these cities where we have all this history. It's a bummer to think, I'm not gonna see my friends there again. You get to that country and know that you were going to see these people and you see them yearly. I haven't seen them now in three years. That sucks. And the fans too. Slayer means a lot to our fans and they mean a lot to us. I know I will see these people again. But no, Slayer leaves a big hole for a lot of people. Kerry King's new band is rumored to feature former Slayer drummer Paul Bostaff and Kerry previously said, of the sound of the new project, you know me, so you know what it's gonna sound like. That should be very exciting for Slayer fans who may not get to hear Slayer perform again, but you know Kerry King is gonna bring that sound that you know and love. That's your latest update from Rockfeed. Be sure to subscribe for the latest news and updates right here.